Adventure is the quality of entrepreneurs. Curiosity is the quality of scientists. And passion is the quality of success. Dr. Alfred Chu is possessed of all three. His adventure began in China at the age of nine when the family left to join Alfred's father in British Guiana via Hong Kong. After several years, the family moved once more, this time settling in Vancouver, British Columbia. His father's entrepreneurial spirit had a definite impact on the direction of Alfred's life. Um, he has taught me definitely um, many of the uh, principles regarding uh, business and also the hardworking type of uh, mentality that uh, along with my mom he had uh, tried to sort of instill in us. Alfred's early childhood experiences had a great influence on his interests and passions, particularly inspiring his lifelong love of animals. All we had was um, a bag full of glass marbles and lots of chickens and lots of pigs and um, dogs and cats and back home in the village. So um, yes, I have sort of always um, uh, been in the company of animals. Today, companion animals not only play an important role in his personal life, they also form the basis of his business life. A naturally curious child, Alfred was fascinated by both the workings of the natural world and the wonders of man-made technology. This curiosity encouraged a love of nature and an avid interest in science that are reflected today not only in Alfred's business life, but also in his many recreational pastimes. Well, <clears throat> as a kid, um, you know, one of the fascinating things I, um, I, I usually sort of engrosses my mind is when I see the airplane flies by. And uh, I would drop everything along with other people, just stare at it. And you start to wonder, now, isn't that nice? I mean, what makes that fly? You know, that's, we, without even knowing what, how it, how it can be done, and not realizing that there's a pilot in the plane even, you know, but it's just amazing. Uh, and that's um, part of my curiosity. And science does offer some answers to, to many of the curiosities that one might have. In Vancouver, Alfred's father made some choices that would forever impact the lives of his sons. My father decided to sort of um, sell the store at a loss um, so that we can have the chance of concentrating on the studies rather than sort of spending time in the store. I much appreciate that because that's a turning point for us. Alfred went on to earn his Honours Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry from the University of British Columbia in 1971. Alfred continued his studies at Toronto's York University and in 1974 received his Master of Science in Molecular Biology. Alfred's wife Carol encouraged and supported him as he continued his education at York University and in 1979 he completed his PhD in Molecular Biology and Neuroscience. Soon after graduation, Dr. Chu accepted a position with the Ontario Ministry of Health as a research scientist in the Department of Virology. And after four years, I decided to sort of uh, try my uh, ability in, in, uh, in business. Um, we, I thought about the sort of a human laboratory type of work, but uh, again, uh, conditions were not favorable. So as an alternative, um, Offering the lab services to companion animals, to small and small animals, domestic animals, etc., is um, is uh, is the closest to what I like to do. So at that time, though, we I was lucky. The um, the lab services for these um, uh, animals were not uh, there. Um, they were, but it's sort of uh, not of primary importance. With the support of his wife and family, Dr. Alfred Chu launched Vitatech Laboratories. Since then, Vitatech has grown into Canada's largest lab for animal diagnostic services, employing 127 people. So usually when the owners notice that there's something wrong with the animal, it's at, uh, at the critical stage. And so um, uh, without sort of uh, this kind of 
ability to communicate with the animals, uh, we have to do those tests very fast and uh, get the results back to the veterinarians uh, so that they can decide what course to take. In the early days of Vitatech, the process of handling calls from the veterinary community, processing information, and delivering testing results was very tedious and labor intensive. Dr. Chu knew that increasing the speed at which laboratory diagnostics were turned around could have a very positive impact on the outcome by increasing the speed in which a treatment or course of action could be undertaken by the veterinarian. So, utilizing the latest computer technology, Dr. Chu's lab technicians helped him to develop a laboratory information system which would decrease turnaround times for results. At the time, there was no laboratory information systems available in the software market, so his team started from scratch, designing a system that would have a direct interface with much of the lab's testing equipment. The system tracks a specimen from the moment it arrives at the lab, collates data collected on the specimen, and automatically faxes out reports to veterinarians in their offices. It was generally considered to be one of the better ones, um, simply because uh, it was um, the input, all the input into the development of this LIS was uh, from the actual technicians, uh, technologists, so they know exactly uh, what they wanted in the systems. Before long, the potential for broader applications of the system caught the attention of the Canadian healthcare industry and resulted in the founding of Techno Labs in 1991, now known as Triple G Corporation. The organization set out to apply the same principles to human diagnostic testing. And that's why we, uh, we um, established the Techno Labs to uh, translate the veterinary system into a human application and then it turned out to be a much easier uh, job than, uh, than we anticipated. I think it's made tremendous contribution to the Canadian society as evidenced by his success in the R&D efforts in the analytical services. Uh, he's very innovative in the R&D areas. Um, he started with a very small company testing just animals now it's including the agricultural products and, and, and now it's human beings. It's very commercialized now. Already well recognized throughout North America for their work with the veterinary industry, Vitatech's list of diagnostic services continues to grow, serving a broader range of industries, including agriculture in both food and animals, zoos and racetracks, even human paternity testing. Dr. Chu contributes much of Vitatech's success to the hard work and excellent credentials of his staff. His love of both animals and science has attracted employees who share these interests and passions. Those shared enthusiasms have resulted in the development of a team that he considers to be a part of his extended family. So over the years I have um, managed to attract uh, a numerous uh, excellent people. Uh, many of them are uh, uh, well-known researchers uh, in the different areas of science. And recently, his work family has grown to include his wife, Carol. Outside of his lab, he has always shared with his wife and his children his adventurous spirit and his passionate interests in nature and animals. Dr. Alfred Chu's sense of adventure, curiosity, and passion has made his company, Vitatech, one of the top testing labs in North America. With his love of animals and his compassion for people, he has developed technologies which have a tremendous impact upon how quickly we deliver health care. May his adventure you.